Buckingham Palace has formally redefined the Queen's role in light of recent mobility issues that have necessitated her withdrawal from several high-profile engagements. For the first time in more than a decade, the palace reported that it has reduced or eliminated part of the monarch's official duties. According to reports, the Queen has passed some of her key duties down to her eldest son Charles, the Prince of Wales, as she reduces her role. Queen Elizabeth II's job description has been rewritten to remove several key duties that she was previously obliged to fulfil as part of her role as monarch. It comes as the Queen 96 entrusts more of her duties to her son and heir, Charles, the Prince of Wales. In addition, the wider royal family will now also take on more responsibility. The annual Sovereign Grant report is signed off by Keeper of the Privy Purse, Sir Michael Stevens, who is responsible for the financial management of the royal household. It divides the responsibilities of the Queen into two distinct categories, Head of State and Head of Nation. And despite the fact that both of those things are still in place, the practice of attending important ceremonies, like the state opening of Parliament, has been eliminated. This year, in light of the widespread publicity surrounding the Queen's mobility problems, Prince Charles and Prince William, Duke of Cambridge, attended the state opening together. It was one of six important events that the monarch was formally obliged to attend, and the Prince of Wales has attended five of those events during the course of the past year. In recent years, Prince Charles has stood in for his mother at a number of official engagements. Given the Queen's advanced age, it is not anticipated that she will engage in further international travel. According to reports in The Telegraph, officials within the palace have minimised the impact of the adjustments by stating that they were not drastic and were simply a tiny post-Jubilee tweak. The previous 13-point list of specific duties, which also included receiving state visits and appointing prime ministers, has been replaced by a definition that explains her role encompasses a range of parliamentary and diplomatic duties. In addition to this, the report alters the Queen's schedule of engagements to include more all-encompassing visits in royal programmes and places a greater emphasis on the Queen's extended family. The Queen is provided with a significant amount of assistance by other members of the royal family who are responsible for performing official duties on Her Majesty's behalf, it says. Much of the language reported was mitigated by palace officials, with specific engagements taken out and replaced with broader definitions. Her role of Head of State, the report explains, provides a sense of continuity, a focus for loyalty and an assurance of political independence and neutrality for institutions which she heads up, like the judiciary and armed forces. Her role as Head of Nation compromises four key elements, unity and national identity, continuity and stability, achievement and success and support of service. It adds, the Queen has recently attended a private lunch on Garter Day, sent a message to Royal Ascot and appeared on the balcony during the Jubilee celebrations. Following the four-day celebration, the Queen sent a message to thank people around the world. On the Sunday, she made an appearance on the palace balcony with her three heirs, Prince Charles, Prince William and Prince George. They were joined by Camilla, the Duchess of Cambridge, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis. Shortly after, she released a message saying, When it comes to how to mark 70 years as your queen, there is no guidebook to follow. It really is a first. But I have been humbled and deeply touched that so many people have taken to the streets to celebrate my platinum jubilee. While I may not have attended every event in person, my heart has been with you all, and I remain committed to serving you to the best of my ability, supported by my family. I have been inspired by the kindness, joy and kinship that has been so evident in recent days, and I hope this renewed sense of togetherness will be felt for many years to come. I thank you most sincerely for your good wishes and for the part you have all played in these happy celebrations. She signed it off, Elizabeth R.